world's biggest ex Benedict. I'm so excited. I don't know what's down here, but I want to know. Ah. To the Russians? <laughs> That's it. Every month here in California, we have a motorcycle swap meet and a classic car swap meet alternate. Today, we're going to go to the motorcycle swap meet. Everybody comes here from all over the countryside, from other states, in order to find that little bit, that little piece of chrome they just couldn't find anywhere else, especially for older bikes. It is really a cool place to go, especially when it's sunny and people they ride their custom rides here. We're going to have a little talk with the organizers and see how that all came about. See if we can inspire other sunny states to have their monthly swap meets for wheels. Uh, we started the SoCal Cycle Swap Meet in 1998, so we're at 24 years now, going on 25. Today I'm taking you guys all out to the SoCal Motorcycle Swap Meet because for all of you who are not in California, you need to understand why you need to start a motorcycle swap meet or a classic car swap meet in your state if you don't already have one. It's just the best place to meet people, great place to meet like-minded people, it's a great place to buy stuff you need. You know when you can't find that thing for that classic bike you're building that you can't find that bit and piece? It's sitting in here on a table somewhere. So you have to come in, get dirty, dig through it while meeting all these cool people and seeing all their cool bikes. It's worth it. I'll be honest with you, most of the stuff on my bike, I got here. Every swap meet, I'm always here and I always see you. Go down to Biker Bob. It's the Biker Bob. How's the ring business? Uh, well, it's a little slow today, but it'll pick up. It's just now warming up, people are getting out and about. But isn't that a problem when you sell rings and it's cold, your fingers shrink? Yeah, and they shrink up a little bit, yeah. It's a little harder to sell rings. How, how many swap meets have you done? Oh, I've been here for 15 years. So what, what is your what's your fondest memory of, of dealing with people here? When it rained one day, I did three thousand dollars. That's a fond damn memory. <laughs> I know that's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> so did they all just cover up under under your tarp? Yeah, they did. In fact, a lot of vendors didn't show up, and I showed up, and they all got a like you said underneath my tent. You know why I think I remember that one? Because that was the swap meet after my last Harley got stolen and I had to go see if someone was parting it out and it was raining. Oh my and god. And there was only a handful of us here. Oh my god. All right. So what, any, anything new that, uh, what, what do bikers really like here? My What's... wallet chains are new. They're all, nobody's got these, you know. What do you ride? 2007 trike. Really? And it's, it'll knock your eyes out, it's beautiful. You get a ride up here one day. Well, I should. Yeah, people would crowd around it. That's how pretty it is. Well, then we cover when, it with rings, and then I know. Yeah, I could. Yeah. So, what what are, what is people's? Uh, what do they write? What are they their favorite thing?
Yeah, I do chopper, chopper bike fest. I do bike nights. You're doing chopper fest? Yes. I will see you there with the camera down. All right. Outstanding. All right. Any thought on getting married with a tungsten ring as opposed to diamond and gold? Art does men like. This is the art men likes. And that's why women delegate us to having it then, where we can have stuff like this hanging. Because no self-respecting woman is gonna let us put these in the living room. And I guess that's why I'm still single. Even if it might be a bike show, there's still a cool car here. Although you can't put your bike on the bed of this thing. And you really can get everything at the swap meets. I can't tell you the weird things I found here. What do you think about the whole the whole soul bike thing? Hi. Do you, are you a riding dog? Are you right? You can talk now. <laughs> I'm out of Whittier, California. Are you always coming to the swap meet? Yeah, I'm here every month in the same spot. What do you got? Uh, I sell sissy bars for pretty much every kind of bike that I could uh, that I could make them for. Anything. Well, you make these yourself? Yeah. How did you get into that? I had to make one for myself, and I didn't feel like paying for it. So can you make one where I have a little token seat up in the middle? Oh uh, yeah. Like a little pillow? Uh, well, I've been coming since 2014 and I think I might have missed one, so I really like coming. Even if, even if the sales aren't that good, I, I like to come here just to hang out. It's a social thing, right? Yeah, it's almost like coming to a, you know, like almost like Laughlin or something once a month. Yeah. And this month there really are some very cool old collectible Harleys. As if old Harleys are not always collectible. But sometimes they need a little bit more love and care than I have time for. I only got a few more projects sitting in my storage that I have to get to before I get to the next one and on to the cars. And it never ends because guys are guys. But this is a cool bike. This is actually a trike I would get. I know there are still states out there that doesn't do motorcycles. This is from Tennessee. If you're still hanging in there, this needs no introduction. I'm just glad to see more and more younger people starting to ride these. need that is sitting here somewhere and that's why you go to swap meets. This really is the place where the truest tradition is that one man's junk is another man's gold because here you just have some golden stuff for some people and bikes with radios. Is it a lawnmower or what? Oh shit! 27 I think. 1927? I, I love the I love the story of it. Do we know where it came from, or it must have been in some civilian use since? Oh, that thing. Uh, yeah. It belonged to some guy at the state sale. He had a couple other ones that sold it in an auction in a way better condition. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's a forty. Oh, that's the 40. He's got an extra motor. The Cushman Company began in 1903 with making motors for farm equipment, boats, and lawnmowers. In 1936, they began making utility scooters. And as World War II loomed in 1942, they made the Model 93, the three-wheel package delivery vehicle as we see here. It was widely used by the military and it really is very cool. They even sell for somewhere between one to six, seven, eight thousand, depending how restored they are. 
but one of the most famous Cushmans is the Model 53 airborne scooter to be dropped with the troops of World War II. What a cool thing that is. I must have one. I found a cup for my coffee. A coyote. The, the, Why are they coyote? Well, yeah, it's, um, you know, the one chasing. Meep, meep. That one. Come on, come on. You lost, brother. Okay, you give it to me and now it's mine. But you can have it. I think you need a, a motorcycle you can swap. Have it. I'm telling you, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna like bling it up with rhinestones. I, I See, when you woke that. up this morning, you did not know that this is so what you your, needed today. No, and I'm so oh. happy. This is, I'm so happy. It's so cute. I wonder where the buttons come from. And this is where the buttons come from. California or are you affiliated with anybody around the country? Well, we used to do one in Northern Cal, uh, but we decided to focus just on the SoCal uh, market. However, we do get people from all over the country and the world coming out to the meet. Uh, we got a guy that comes out from Connecticut every month to sell merchandise and parts and stuff. Uh, we got people riding it in from Canada to Mexico and everywhere in between coming out to check out the swap meet. It is a monthly event. And you do the car show as well. Yeah, we do the Long Beach High Performance Automotive Swap Meet once a month as well. It's for hot rods, muscle cars, race cars, old trucks, bikes, parts for all that stuff. Uh, same location, just a different weekend. That's why you come here. You come here to buy bikes. And there's a bike for sale, so why are you not here buying it? See, life would be so much better if we all just drove pickup trucks like this. This is wicked. If you have to wear a helmet, this is where I would find mine. Now, you're clearly not born on the back of a Harley. What, what are you doing here? Uh, well, <laughs> promoting my film, one. And uh, we just uh, love mixing with the biker crowd, you know. And um, I've got five bikes, so I don't know why you'd say that about a Harley. i got like two Road Kings, two Fat Boys, and two Customs. So. I just got my Saxon uh, registered for the first time in six years, Tinker. Oh, uh, really, really? Okay. Um, so how long have you been coming to the swap meets? Uh, just for the last year or so. I mean, it's just a great way to meet people. I mean, I just sell t-shirts and, and pictures because I think that it's a good way to meet people and make a little bit of extra gas money and maybe pay for the for the meals that you got to pay the actors on these movies and stuff. So, uh, But uh, it's not something I do for a living. It's just something I do for fun. to show that you guys are here otherwise people think you're we're we're all crazy people crazy I mean, we are I crazy people tell that's, you. I mean not what that's that's, that's why you're here right yeah that's why we're here tell everybody right. about Jesus God is good love you guys all the time and these guys I absolutely love because they're righteous riders and they ride for something good and they take care of each other and take care of people just like we should yeah, we actually know Ravi really well. Yeah? Yeah. Those are my boys. Harley? Yeah, I raced with them. Oh, sick. Yeah, he used to race mountains. Since I see you here every damn time, what what did I, and I always ask you when I can have your pickup. This is not standard. What did you do to it? Uh, 
I cut the frame off in the front. I put a Nova subframe, and then I put a Camaro 305 engine in it. Ooh. And a 700R tranny, overdrive tranny, and a Chevelle rear end. So all the drive line is Chevy, and the body's Ford. I love it. I I always loved this, and you you dropped it too, didn't you? Yeah. Camaro or the Nova and Nova and Camaro frames they go like this. Yeah. So. And you got a little chopper sticker. I love this. I love this. But you have the interior that I would actually have for the pickup truck that I one day will get that I will emulate on yours because because you won't sell me yours. Every swap meet I go to, I see this guy with his pickup truck and he's animate, he's gonna get buried in it. I can't blame him, I just need to know where he's buried so I can dig it up after. As you're surrounded by gassers and bikers, I gotta ask, what do you ride and what do you drive? So I have a 1940 Ford Coupe with a flathead. Um, that's what I drive hot rod wise. I'm building, rebuilding my first car I had in high school. I still have it. It's a 1965 Chevelle two-door post. Um, it's in my garage. I'm getting there. I have a 53 BSA Bantam uh, and it's a CRF 350 Dual Sport. Um, a couple other smaller dirt bikes. So this is not just an event for you, you're living the life too. Yeah, I mean that's one of the true joys of my profession and job is I get to be around like-minded people, people into cars and bikes. It's a great group of uh, people to be around because it's their hobby, so everyone's in a good mood. So we have a lot of consistent vendors that come every month. This is like their storefront. Um, they don't actually have a shop. Some of them do have shops and this is their extra uh, location to drum up business or to sell excess takeoff parts or merchandise. But then those are the regulars. But we also get guys just, you know, clearing out their garage of projects. So we get a bunch of new people every month that just want to get rid of that stuff or estate sale from guys that own motorcycles and motorcycle parts. So you get the wide range of it, motorcycle and bicycle. A great place for like-minded people into bikes to gather once a month or once every other month depending on what state uh, and location. Weather-wise it seems to be the biggest factor but it gives a, a recurring place to gather and share ideas, uh, swap parts and without having to go to someone's house to buy a part like on some of these social uh, media platforms where uh, the guy may not be there when you get there to buy the part, or the guy who shows up is lowballing you ahead of time. This, you could come out, set your parts out, see a guy you haven't seen in a couple months, um, share ideas, and then do it again next month or a couple months later. It's a great marketplace to get good deals on parts. Um, you don't have to worry about ordering something you haven't seen and touched, having it arrive. And, having it be other than described or shown in the photo. This benefits everybody. It's good for sellers, good for buyers, good for people Good for people who just want to come and look at cool bikes. Yeah, it's its own economy for the bike market. Um, it's got its own marketplace. It's a, also a social event. People come to hang out and, and talk and, you know, maybe you get apparel or tools. It's not always just buying a part, but it all it is all cycle related and we're very strict about that with the content content of the event.
I love the motorcycle swap meet. It's just a bunch of great guys, and you can always talk and barter with somebody. Whoever you bump into, you have something in common, and you know what else? They'll make you smoke cigars out here. Well, they won't make you, but they'll let me. All right, we have come and gone for the motorcycle swap meet for today. It really is cool, and I am here every single month because there's always some little piece of shiny chrome that I desperately need to put on something that I have with wheels. I'll see you here next month. And well, actually, I'll probably see you here in a couple of weeks with a classic custom car show. Have a great weekend, everybody. Hope you enjoyed some of my shows, my movies I put up. Please subscribe to my channel, hit me a like, donate if you feel like it. And if you have any suggestions of things you'd like me to go, see, do, film, talk about, Drop me a note down below and I will follow up as soon as I can and do whatever I can to keep you guys entertained. Have a great day. <laughs>